Hey there, people. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. Today, I'm going to present you with 23 different push up variations that can be done anywhere, any place, anytime. First one is the classic standard push up. The second one is a fingertip push up. So we're stabilizing, maintaining a strong, tight core while balancing and stabilizing on our fingertips. The third variation is a wide push-up. So our hands are about two times shoulder width apart, and we're banging them out. The fourth one is a hands turned out push-up. Hands are turned out, a little bit wider than the mat, you're banging it out. The fifth one is a hands turned in push-up. Hands are turned in, and you're pumping. The sixth variation is a triangle push-up, or if they call this a jail push-up. Hands are in a triangle, and you're working them tries for the guys. Ah, you better not be. Seventh is a staggered hands push-up. You go one side, switch to the other side, rep them out, thing curls for the girls. The eighth is a clap push-up. The ninth is a hands-off explosive push-up. Trying to be as explosive as possible, being as loud and annoying as possible, trying to get kicked out of the gym you're in. That's how you know you're explosive. The tenth one is a push-up shoulder tap. Push up, tap them shoulders, go down, bang it out, come back up, get a real nice pump going. The third one is fantastic. A three-point push-up. I really like this one. You're stopping at three points. And as you come up, you're being real explosive. The 12th is a T push-up. This one, you're really working the obliques, working the core. You do your push-up, and you're basically coming into a T position, stacking the heels, stacking the feet, coming back down, doing another push-up. The 13th one is one of the best to do before a night out. Get a nice pump going, get the chest looking good. It's a one and a half push up. It really gets the blood flowing, gets the chest looking nice. You guys will love this one. The 14th is actually my favorite one, a Spider-Man push up. Uh, why? I mean, you kind of look like Spider-Man. You kind of look pretty legit when you're doing it. So as you're going down, you're bringing that knee to the elbow, it really works the obliques. The 15th is a really good one, really good warm up to do. It's a hand walk push up, shoulder tap, walk them hands back to the feet, make sure you're really activating, you know, lengthening that posterior chain. Really a nice one, take your time. The 16th is a yoga push up. So you're just doing a push up, going straight away to a downward dog. Really good as a warm up as well can be done as a finisher, can be done as a warm-up. That's the fantastic thing about push-ups. 17th, we're getting incline. So get yourself a chair, a bench, a table, whatever it is. Start with the standard width. The 18th is an incline wide push-up. Hands two times, shoulder width, banging them out, roughing it out. The 19th is a close push-up, keeping them elbows close to the sides, really working them tries. The 20th is a hands on the bench, hands on the chair, more of a beginner variation, but it can be done no matter your fitness level. 21st is probably the hardest one, a typewriter push-up. You go to one side, you swipe to the other, and you're back up. 22nd is a side-to-side -side push-up, push to the left, Back up, push to the right, back up, and just keep switching, banging it out. The 23rd and the last one, you guys are probably tired of my voice by now, but trust me, these are real useful. You start wide or you start close, you push up, you walk yourself back into close, you push up, really good for the core. Hope you guys enjoyed these. Let me know what you think in the comments.